Assalamu alaikum students, this is Bilal Adal for the subject of English, second year means intermediate part 2. The first lesson, Nine Sun by Sir James Jeans. He was a British physicist, astronomer and mathematician. Universe. What is this universe? Who created this universe? What is the nature and purpose of this universe? What is the age of this universe? How long this universe would last? And who is the organizer of this universe? Questions like these have haunted philosophers and scientists equally. I would say not only scientists and philosophers but the common people like you and me, who observe keenly and who think freely, they do often think about the universe and mysteries of the universe. But unfortunately, we have never been able to get any exact answers. Though our religions help us in making our beliefs, but on the other side, Science does not rely on beliefs. They rely on facts, facts which could be proven. Why can't we reach all those facts and why couldn't we solve all the mysteries of the universe? The reason is very obvious. We have got our limitations. Our senses are limited, our faculties are limited, I mean to say, uh, we cannot see beyond a certain limit. We can only hear within a specific frequency. Below that frequency, we cannot hear anything. Above that frequency, we cannot hear anything. We cannot travel far. In traveling, we have got our limits. Although uh, telescopes and space rockets have considerably uh, helped us in increasing our reach. Yet I would say um, they are not enough. We cannot venture too far in the space and we cannot see whole the space with our telescopes, however strong they might be. We get knowledge, we get facts with the help of our senses. We get information from different resources and that becomes our knowledge. On the basis of that knowledge, uh, we form our vision. On the other side, we may also say that vision uh, is physically the reach of our eyes. As far as I can see and as wide I can see with the help of my, my eyes is the range of my vision. On the other hand, uh, we have got the ability to create a picture in our mind. Picture of past, picture of future. We have the ability to dream in our mind. We have the ability to create a picture of some beautiful scene. We have the ability to create the picture of something that we are going to make, that again is our vision. And this vision is broadened with the help of books. Book reading broadens our vision. Watching television and movies helps to broaden our vision. Traveling to new places broadens our vision. Meeting new people also broadens our vision. This lesson, The Dying Sun, although it contains something contradictory to our religious beliefs, yet it helps considerably in broadening our vision. After reading this lesson, we come to know so many of the facts about the universe 
which probably we did not know before that. Let's see how. In the start of the lecture, I had said that the basic question for us is, what is this universe? How big is this universe? What is the age of this universe? Questions like these. Who is asking this question? Me. You, maybe. People like us. Who are we? One of 7.7 .7 billion people living on this planet. Now the present population of human beings on this planet Earth is 7.7 .7 billion. I am one of those who is, you are one of those. So 7.7 .7 billion people are living on the planet Earth now. Living on whole the planet? No. Living on only the dry land of this planet. Because 71% of this planet Earth is water. It includes oceans, rivers, lakes as well. Only 29% is dry land. How much? 29% is dry land, 71% is water. 7.7 .7 billion people are living. On this dry land? No. Not on this dry land actually. This dry land also contains deserts, snow covered peaks, jungles and polar regions as well. Actually, to be exact, 95 71% is water, 29% is dry land. Dry land contains deserts, mountains, snow covered mountains where uh, population is almost uh, nil, forests and polar regions. To be exact, 95% of the concentration of human population is only in the 10% of the dry land. So 95% of human concentration is only proportionally at 10% of, within the range of 10% of this dry land. So you see how much dry land is still free, still vacant, and three times bigger, almost three times, more than two times, 71% is still water. And this planet, Earth, full of water, full of natural resources, full of fossil fuels, full of oxygen, full of forests, and full of other lives. Giving, by, uh, giving this details, I just wanted to create in your mind an idea about our planet Earth, how big it is. It is, of course, very big. So big that 71% is free and we are living and eating and fulfilling our, all our requirements within this 29%. No. We say that this planet Earth is very big. But wait a minute. We cannot say with certainty about the size of something until and unless we compare its size with some other object of the same kind. We need to compare the size of this planet Earth with some other planets or stars in the universe. And if then it proves big, we should admit that it is big. Let's compare it. We see sun rising from east every day and setting in the west every day. And obviously we see that uh, our sun is bigger than our earth. But how much bigger? 10 times? 
100 times, 1000 times? Of course, 1000 times is pretty big. But actually, scientists believe that this sun of ours is so big that some 13 lakh, 1.3 million planets of the size of Earth can be packed inside the sun. 13 lakh Earths can be packed inside the area of the sun. Have you got the idea? How big is sun? 13 lakh Earths can be packed in the area of the sun. Good, very good. Probably this may be the biggest star in the universe and we must feel pride in it. But wait, Sir James Jean is here to correct us. He starts his essay, The Dying Sun, with the words that probably our sun is one of the smaller stars in the universe. Here and there, so often we find some stars in the universe in which millions and millions of Earths could be packed and still there would be free space. Millions and millions of Earths could be packed and still there would be free space. It means the other stars in the universe are many times bigger than this sun of ours. So, sun is very big, but not still biggest. There are even far bigger stars there out in the universe. Now the next question is how many? 100, 200, 1000, 1 lakh, how many? Sir James Jeans shocks us by telling that the number of stars in the universe is probably equal to the number of grains of sand present on all the seashores of this planet Earth. The number of stars in the space equals the number of grains, probably equals the number of grains present on all the seashores of the planet Earth. 71% of planet Earth is water. Seashores. More than 1 million kilometer is the coast line of our planet Earth. More than 1 million kilometer is the coast line. Coast line means the line around the seas. Even if half of it is covered in sand, half of it contains sand. So, just imagine how much sand it would be and how many grains of sand it would contain. That is probably the number of stars in the universe. You have got the idea of size of stars, one. Secondly, number of stars, Stars are very big and number of stars is in billions and trillions. Next, what are all these stars doing out in the universe? Were they stationary? They were doing nothing. It would have been alright. But no, actually they are continuously moving. Our mind would think that if they are continuously moving, they would be colliding with each other every now and then. But actually not. Sir James Jeans tells us that they never come even close to one another. Because, of course, we would think immediately that the supreme creator of the universe would have set a course, a route for each star to move in so that it does not collide with any other. But that's true, actually. The other fact is that the distances between the stars are immense. 
million miles and billion miles. The stars do not even come close to others. A star wandering about in the space is just like a ship sailing on an empty ocean. When a ship is sailing on an empty ocean, there is no other ship within sight. Would it have a chance of colliding with another ship? No, of course not. Same is the condition of the stars. Stars are far away from each other. So, distances are immense. These three facts we have got about universe. Size of stars, stars are very big. Number of stars, so many. Distances are so big. This gives us an idea of the size of our universe. Now after the size of this universe, today we have discussed about the size of stars, number of stars and distances between the stars. This gives us an idea of the vastness of our universe. In our next lecture, we will discuss about the creation of planets in the universe, especially in our solar system, and then about the life on our planet Earth. And finally, the possibility of life somewhere else in the universe. Thank you very much. See you in the next.